Timothy chapter 4. Oh my God. 1 Timothy chapter 4. Lord, I bless your name today. I heard a song the other day. This thing was sort of messing with me. I, know. I think it was uh, a group by the name of Chalet. Y'all remember Chalet? Nothing. Come on, come on. Y'all remember Chalet? I know. Come on, y'all. Y'all remember Chalet. And the title of the song was Nothing Can Come Between Us. And that's where I got this message from. She was talking about on a personal level, nothing can come between her and her lover. I'm talking about on a spiritual level, that there's nothing that can come between God and his church. Are y'all feeling me? Look at what it says, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, talking about the, the times we're living in now, says, now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, watch this, some shall depart from the faith. Wait a minute, wait a minute. When your president says, this is no longer a Christian nation. Come on. And I got an amen from the baby. You, you know what she said just now? She said, preach back. <laughs> The Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Mm -hmm. yes. Why are they departing? Because another spirit got their attention. Y'all be hearing what I'm saying today? They had to give their attention to something. How are they departing? Giving heed to seducing. Oh, shende basata. We know what it's like to be dealing with seducing spirits. That's that thing that encourages you to sin. Oh, it's quiet up in this church. That's that thing that says, don't make no difference what mom or daddy say. You know how fine he look? Come on. We're going to do this anyway. We, another word for being seduced is being tempted. Come on, somebody. So how, how, did, how did those who Believed in the Lord. How did they believe? How did they leave the Lord? There's a, there's a word called apostasy. Ah, boy, I can't buy an amen up in the church. And the word apostasy means abandonment of a former loyalty. When it's some, you, you, you know how it is. Glory to God. We're in love one minute, and then you kick me to the curb for it. You know, find another love. I don't know why I'm remembering all these um, <laughs> all these secular songs. You see, I wasn't born in the church. Amen. Mm -hmm. Who was that saying, I'm looking for a new love? Y'all remember that? Yeah. Who was that? I'm telling my age up in the everything, everything I wasn't born, Pastor. I don't know. <laughs> Amen. So, so, wait a minute. America has been drawn away, has fallen away from her conviction. No, 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 no. America, our government says the cure for COVID is to shut down the church. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. But remember, our first black president says, I'm going someplace. I'm going someplace. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Notice it says the Spirit, and this word Spirit is capitalized. Uh -huh. So it's talking about the Spirit of God. Yes. And don't, don't get it twisted. Not just any Spirit, the Spirit. Ah, glory to God, now the Spirit. It speaketh expressly. The, the Spirit says, you're living in those times and folk ain't gonna love me the way they used to love me. Those who call themselves Christians mm -hmm. will compromise their faith. Jesus. Yeah, how, how many of y'all remember the great apostle Peter? Yes. All yes. glory to God. Yes. Peter said, Lord, I love you. I follow you anyway. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And y'all ain't hear me. Oh, yes. Peter saw Jesus get persecuted. 
Come on. Yes. Peter saw the way they slapped him yes, yes. and chained him, took him and put him in prison. Yes. Peter was warming his hands around the fire. One of his sisters said, I saw you with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, help me up in here. Yes. Let me ask you a question. What does it take for you to deny? Or should they deny something? How much does it take for you to deny your God? Every time you choose to sin, you have to deny. I'm preaching better than y'all saying amen today. Every time you choose to sin and choose to stay in that. In that you know, there's some things that somebody said it's so good, it's so nice, you had to do it twice. Y'all loosen up up in this church. Glory to God. What does it take? Thank you, Lord. But we can't do this in front of the pastor, in front of the church. Let's see who's looking. Oh, it's quiet in this Baptist church. Methodist church. Episcopal. Apostolic. Quiet up in this Pentecostal. Holiness church today. Yeah. I wonder, did, did some of y'all separate from Christ last night? Yeah. I'm going to tell you the truth. We went to the family reunion. I was tempted to separate my old ways. I saw, I said, oh boy. Oh, Jesus. Lord, I get that old, that old man was ready to party yesterday. <laughs> Oh, Lord. See, maybe, maybe I'm just a little too real for y'all. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm just a little too real. Can, can, I, just, can I just share something with y'all this morning? Yes, Lord. Um, how many of y'all know that our president, our current president, President Joe Biden, yeah. glory to God, I want to read the statement from the Wall Street Journal that Joe Biden made. Listen to me. Joe Biden himself pledged allegiance to something called the New World Order. Mm. The Divine Reset. Wait a minute, wait a minute, let me read. Joe Biden pledged allegiance to the New World Order in the Wall Street Journal. He said, I learned to love the New World Order in which he details his vision, watch this, of surrendering America's serenity to the new global government called the United Nations. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. America tied herself back up to the United Nations. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying today? The United Nations is, 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 is a conglomerate of nations most of them are not Christian. You're not understanding what I'm saying today. Our president, our current president, says he wants to be a part of that. And this new world order is a world government. Not what your country decides. It's a world government. Whatever we decide as the world is the standard. That's going to be the new standard. And if the new standard is out with Jesus, out with Christianity, that's where we're headed. Oh, can I just talk to y'all today? Somebody said, well, I don't want to come back to this church. That's all right. Well, 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 we are now, we are now a part of that. Can I just talk to you for a minute? How many of you know that the name Harris means destruction. Oh God, give me your eyes right here. Kamala Harris. Kamala is a heap, is a uh, uh, Let me make sure I get it right. Let me, let me make sure I get it right. I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. And this is not a Democratic or Republican message. It's just a message to let you know where we are. Kamala is Hindu. 
is the name of a Hindu god. The name Harris means destruction. Oh, come on. The Jewish rabbis who are responsible for the writing of our Bibles, the Jews are, who, who are the most pious people on the earth today, one of the Jewish rabbis says the name Joe Biden means one who gives birth to a deity. Oh God, the boy is quiet in this church today. His name means one who gives birth to a deity. Wait a minute, Jesus has already been born. Come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. His natural son uh, has already been born. Mm -hmm. So the name is relative to the character of the person. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying today. Your name is Abram. Mm -hmm. High father. Yes. But I'm changing your name from Abram, high father, to Abraham, father of many nations. Because that's going to be your destiny. Are y'all hearing me up in this place today? I am telling you, America is bowing. America has compromised her Christian loyalty. In the last days, many shall depart from the faith. Why? Giving heed, I gave my attention over to this other God. And I like what this other God is offering me. Oh, glory to God. I don't know about you, but I, I try to stay current with current affairs today, uh, uh, I saw a young rap artist. I don't know, I can't remember his name. He's a, he, he's a real dark-skinned brother. And on his CD cover, he was pregnant. Wait a minute, he was pregnant. He was half naked and he was pregnant. Watch this now. And it shows him in a video going down to hell, making love with Satan. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying today. Most of the young people got his CDs and videos. You better check on what your children are listening to. You don't understand where we are today. America is bowing. We have compromised our Christian principles. And God is fed up with it. So then a part of the suffering that you're dealing with right now is because God is angry with his church. He's not only angry with his church, but he's also angry against the unsaved because the unsaved are always against him. Our current president and the rest of the world leaders Oh, glory to God. Uh, the Pope just declared that homosexuality is not a sin anymore. Are oh, y'all been with me up in here? It's all right for a man to marry a man. It's all right for a woman to marry a woman. The Pope just declared that. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying? The United Nations the Roman Catholic Church is the greatest influence in the United Nations. You're not hearing what I'm saying today. Joe Biden is the first American president that professed to be Catholic. Oh my God, y'all didn't hear me. In other words, I'm in alignment with whatever the Pope says. I agree with whatever the Pope says. Oh, glory to God, that's why, that's why they're passing bills today it's all right. Glory to God. They're forcing pastors to marry gay couples. You're not hearing what I'm saying today. There is legislation that if you don't do it, they can shut down your church. This legislation is supported by our government. Y'all gotta hear what I'm saying today. So the times that we're living in right now, if you're wondering what in the world is going on, we're right at the end of the age, and the Christian God, our God, is upset. Yes. Yes. And so we're gonna have to deal with the aftermath yes. 
of the punishment that God has for the world. Go to the book of Judges, young man. The book of Judges, chapter 1. No, I'm talking the book of Judges, chapter 6. And we're going to start with verse 1. Are y'all all right today? Are y'all getting anything out of what I'm trying to say? Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I bless your name today. I bless your name today. I ain't trying to make you shout. Judges, chapter 6. Watch this right here. Listen to me. Whenever God's people rebel against God, how can we rebel? We rebel by compromising with the world. We rebel, come on somebody, by going along with the pressure that the rest of the world is putting on the church. Because the church has come alongside with certain governmental leaders just for influence, just to try to do a favor. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying today? I can remember when COVID-19 first hit, the government was sending out relief checks to religious institutions. I could not file for one. I wanted to, we had a need to file for one. Glory to God. I would talk to Pastor Scott, I'd talk to my wife, but I would never file for government assistance. You're not hearing what I'm saying? Right now, today, those same churches that filed for government assistance today are receiving letters from our government today telling them what they need to preach in their pulpit because the government helped you keep your doors open so you better receive gay and lesbians in your church. Gay and lesbians are welcome to come into this church. Anybody can come into this church because this is the church of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I don't hate nobody because of their sexual preference, but I'm just going to tell you the truth that it's a sin. You're not hearing what I'm saying today. You can't be married to another man and believe you're going to die and go to heaven. You can't be married to another man or date another woman and be my praise team leader. If I find out, I'm getting rid of you. Oh, glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Where did I say we were going? Yeah. And the children of Israel did evil. Wait a minute. What children are these? These are God's people. Yeah. They did evil in the sight uh, of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord delivered them. Watch this. Because of the evil they did. Watch this. The Lord delivered them into the hands of the Midians. Y'all ain't hear me. Watch this. We're being persecuted by other nations. Boy, it's quiet up in this church today. Come on. America used to be the leader in the world. Everybody looked to America for comfort. Everybody looked to America for protection. Now we are being led by other nations. Oh, glory to God. Our president, Joe Biden, shut down the Keyshawn pipeline. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying today. Eliminated 10,000, 15,000 jobs. Glory to God. All at the same time, they granted Russia and the Russians the privilege to do what he just bound America from doing. You're not understanding what I'm saying? We're supposed to be going to this uh, a total electric economy, electric cars and everything. Don't you know the leading uh, uh, fuel in this world? You got to have oil. Come on. Every other country is depending on oil. China is buying up all the oil. Russia is buying up all the oil. Joe Biden, our president, fired and closed the Keyshawn pipeline, Come on. which is the main source for America. I don't know whether y'all understand. Have you been to a grocery store lately? Come on, yeah. Are you seeing how every week prices are going up? Yeah. Oh, glory to God. We are being persecuted. Wait a minute. So much of our supplies come from overseas. Yeah. So much of the stuff comes from China and other countries. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying today? Not only does China supply almost all of the stuff in Walmart and all these other stores. China was the one you can thank China for the coronavirus. I don't care who don't believe it, you can thank them for the coronavirus. But because America has compromised, 
her standing before God because America is now bowing to foreign gods because America has surrendered herself to Buddha. America has hindered her. Oh, y'all ain't hear me up in here. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord turned them over to other nations. Go to go to verse 2. Let's, let's go on down in Jesus' name. I hope y'all with me up in here. Thank you, Lord God. Hmm. I give you praise. I give you glory. Thank you. Oh, glory to God. Can we get down to verse 2? Thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Wait a minute. Okay, it'll be all right. Who's 